hi this is Kenan and in this YouTube video I am going to talk about Hyper-V settings in Windows 10 so let's go to the Hyper-V settings so this is the Hyper-V server which I have connected it is a local server you can see in my previous video in detail about how to configure the hypervisor in Windows 10 and also you can see how to create a virtual machine using the hypervisor in Windows 10 so now I'm go I am going to show you about how to configure the Hyper-V server settings so you can right click and go to Hyper-V settings or you can also see the options here from the action window you can just simply click it and you can go to the Hyper-V settings of the server which you have connected so as the first setting you can see the storage location of your virtual hard disk here you can select the storage location to store all your virtualization hard disk files if you see I have stored it in a J drive so I just show you the folder which I have stored so here you can see you can, uh, all the virtualization files have been stored in this location so this is the Hyper-V supported hard disk image file and these are all some other uh, virtual hard disk files which are supported in the VMware so I have stored all the virtualization hard disks in the same storage location so it was showing everything and the next thing is to store the virtual machine configuration files so these things will also get stored in the same location <coughs> so right now I am not having any virtualization configuration files so these are some of the configuration files which I have exported from so this is the hard disk file so there is no snapshots here and the next thing is the uh, physical GPUs which you have connected to your virtual machine. So I am using the AMD Radeon HD 6670 a separate graphic card for my CPU. So if you have more than one graphic card you can select it here so that it will connect it to a virtual machine and you can also play the games using this graphic card. So I am using this uh, GPU for the remote effects and you can see the capabilities and the driver details about the graphic card here I have a dedicated video RAM of about 1 GB and a shared system memory of about 4 GB approximately and a DirectX version of about 11 and you can use this full capability of the graphic card in your virtual machine and the next one is the NUMA spanning so this new mass spanning here was used in the Hyper-V to allow the virtual machines to span the non-uniform memory architecture nodes. So this setting provides the virtual machine with advanced computing resources that allows you to do more running uh, more programs that supports the NUMA codes. And here I have enabled the NUMA physical NUMA nodes to be working on the virtual machine and the next thing is a storage migration here I have enabled of about two storage migra migrations simultaneously and I can perform the migrations at the same time and uh, allowed number was about two you can also increase it to three four or five here so having the default to migration is uh, enough because I am not having a LAN network here simply I am having a local home network here so I am allowing it only for the two since I am using the home network if you are using the uh, organization network you can maximize it to up to 10 or maximum as per you want because in your organization you can move more number of uh, storages from one place to another from SAN network to NAS network like that you can do so you can increase 
whatever you want here you can specify the number here and the next thing is a session mode policy so here you can see i have allowed the enhanced session mode policy here this session mode policy was uh, useful for you to redirect your local devices which are connected to a physical computer to the virtual machines and uh, these are this was only supported once you have a guest operating system in your virtual machine configured in it and the next thing is a user setting here you can see you can use the key combinations here so you have three options here the first one is use on the physical computer and the next one is use on the virtual machine and the next one is use on the virtual machine only when running it in a full screen mode so you can set the windows key combinations here like alt tab or control tab or some other combinations which you need while running the windows machine you can use it on the physical computers or you can use it on the virtual machine or on the virtual machine running on the full screen mode and the next thing is the mouse release key here whenever you are running the virtual machine in a full screen mode or in a half screen mode with a particular uh, screen resolution it will come as a separate window so the mouse will get locked once you have clicked your arrow mouse arrow into your virtual machine so if you want to release you can just set the mouse release key here and the next thing is there are certain combinations here uh, the default is a uh, control and you can set the mouse release key here if you want a separate release key and the next thing is a enhanced session mode for the user settings here you can see the enhanced session mode policy and here you can see the enhanced session mode for the user settings so here you can see the same setting was applicable here for the user settings you can use the or uh, redirect the local devices and its resources to the virtual machines and the next thing is a uh, reset checkboxes it will clear all the checkboxes here and this checkboxes was used for resetting all the hyper hypervisor confirmation messages and its user pages and uh, this is the main settings page which you have in your hyper-v server so right now i am just uh, leaving it as a default to accept uh, configuring these two virtual machine storage location and the virtual hard disk storage location and here you can see the virtual switch manager and the sand manager here you can also edit and inspect the disk from the actions window you can just use simply use the edit disk and go to the location of the virtual hard disk which is located here i'm just going to show you some here i have selected and you can use here to convert it into a virtual hard disk by copying the contents into a new to a new hard disk and you can compact it you can compact the file size and the storage capacity of the hard disk so that uh, the contents will be remain in the hard disk so but the file size of the hard disk will be compacted and you can also expand the virtual hard disk size here and you can also use the virtual SAN manager here right now I'm not having any SAN manager but uh, I will show you some <coughs> detail explanation about uh, virtual SAN manager in my future videos and this virtual switch manager I will explain you in detail in my next video because it has a lot of uh, configuration to do it and you can always use this uh, option from the action bar to import the virtual machine uh, from a storage location which you have like like I have a folder here I can just simply select the folder and I can uh, export the and this I will explain in detail in my upcoming videos and I think you might have seen all the settings in the Hyper-V manager and these are the settings which you can see in this window and here the option you can see the display of options so this is the main settings which is available in the Hyper-V manager and 
so subscribe for more videos uh, so that i can produce more and more videos about the hyper v and also the upcoming technology which is available in the market so thank you for watching the video